Hello and welcome. I'm a good sabotage. The past few months I've been I had a few things on my mind, but the three main things has been recession, climate change, and the whole the hole in the ozone layer. Personally, they all don't, don't add up, as it were. Uh, the whole has been, first has been, you know, closed, sealed up in, t in, no, in 2004. Then, go back to 2006 or something, they were said, said it's going to be with us a whole lot longer. Okay? And a few years ago as well, they said it moved up to the so it covers the southern tip of the of America. Bloody America. Anyway, if it really it sounds bloody fucking wrong here, man. You can't ch keep changing your freaking mind about stuff. If you keep changing your mind, you pretty much fucking yourself over. And so people start not believing you. It's and the and the climate change. It's, oh, climate change and the hole, the ozone hole leaks as a link, right? If climate change is happening, then there won't be any hole. Hole. Oh, if there's a hole, climate change won't be happening, would not it? Because the heat. What didn't the heat go through the hole? And CO2 go through the hole. The easiest department, the easiest exit, as it were. You can't have one, or you can't have both. You can have only one or the other. What the fuck? And there we are. Which is quite confusing. Anyway, the recession. Since where's the fuck to all the cash going eh? Since what the sure we're spending a lot on the third world. Yeah, only a small portion's getting there. Where the fuck's where or the ca rest of cash going? Is it lining the pockets of MPs or the government or was it? Because as I see it, it can't be a recession or this or the cash is depleted. Well, as I see it, but to me, the, the same amount. We're producing more money every every year, year in year out and whatnot. You know, year in year out and whatnot, and whatnot. Well, which means the same amount of money is still in circulation. Which means there's no freaking recession on if it's in. If it's circulating around the country. See, in my eyes, a recession is blown alarm money on crap overseas. I'm not talking about the third world here. I'm talking about giving cash to the Russians for oil, to the Americans for. God knows what the Australians means for what God knows what and what not. Not going on about that. The what nots. Anyway, which me leads to the what's me call it. There's no freaking recession. Then the money keeps on recycling itself. It keeps if you spend money on 
uh, a house the money goes to the department to the um, sales the people that sell sold you the house but uh, some of that money is going to the government in, t in tax and whatnot yes and they spending money and they and they have to put in the treasury which means the treasury and and the treasury giving money to good companies to pay the workers for more more for more houses to buy a house or two a house or a flat rent them out which means I can't see how the recession is in place unless the government is hoarding a lot of the money and burying it out of sight and what not this means the government has another freaking thing under their belts and, and not get, getting any smaller if anything they it's getting bigger so we said it's bloody annoying you can't say one thing and pretend it's not pretend there's no money floating about you know the saying poor get poorer and the rich get richer it's not always the case the there's the tax for the poor, there's the super tax for the rich and famous and there's the government doing the claiming thing to be bobs which the tax payers are pretty much paying for their crap which means they have even more cash to spend which they don't spend in, which they don't actually spend. I say, what the fuck is going on? Why the why is the government wanting us to believe one thing when it's another? So, what? So, tell me this. So, answer me questions. How many others? Shut up you. Anyway. I'll leave you on that note. I'll leave you wondering the same things. So until next time. Later.